Hi, I'm Andrew Malloy, the Automation Wizard, and I'm going to be going through how to set up Obsidian to uh, have daily pages. Uh, basically, and especially if you're coming from Rome, uh, very much the Rome approach of always starting with uh, a daily page, uh, as opposed to just uh, any other note or, or file structure that you're usually uh, entering in different notes, uh, note type apps such as Notion. Uh, so I'm going to just start with creating a new vault from scratch and show you the particular setup that you need to have. Um, so I'm just going to call this daily and I'll put it on desktop for now. Create that. Okay, no file is open, no files. I'll just create a new note uh, randomly. Random notes. Be easy to see once the daily pages are in there. So this is the default behavior of a new Obsidian vault. Um, you can create notes, folder structure, just start, start writing. Um, but what's kind of handy, especially one of the advantages to Rome, is uh, taking more of a daily uh, just log approach. And uh, it reduces the kind of mental friction of thinking, oh, where do I start writing? Uh, if you just want, just want to start taking notes anywhere. And um, because one of the advantages to Obsidian, which is what Rome has over Notion as well, is that it's very much uh, kind of self-organizing note system. So the organization uh, evolves out of uh, entering the data and making the links from the ground up, as opposed to having to think about a formalized hierarchy and structure to begin with. Uh, by default, Obsidian does kind of have this more kind of what well, you have to create notes first and where do you put those, even if it's just um, at the top level hierarchy. Um, but you can change that uh, in how Obsidian opens in a fault. So what you want to do is go to core plugins in the settings. So if I settings is down here, go to core plug plugins. So this is a plugin that's built into Obsidian. Uh, of course, you can have third party plugins. Um, scroll down until you find daily notes. So this is basically what you want. And just select it. And there you basically have. OK, so you've enabled the daily notes. And now you have it in the plugin options. So in the daily notes plugin itself, here you can change the date format if you want. Um, for me, this is fine as it is by default, uh, just year, month, date, if you prefer uh, date, month, year, or if you're in the US, month, date, year. Uh, that's fine, you can do that here. Now, here's something I prefer to do is, uh, this is where the new files will be placed. Um, so what I actually prefer to do is kind of have these organized separately. So once I kind of have and decide on a kind of formal structure, I prefer to at least have the daily notes in their own uh, folder. So I'll create a folder here. Um, I just call mine log for daily log. You can call it diary, journal, daily notes, whatever you want. And so I'll go back to the notes here, and then I'm going to select in the file, new file location, log, and therefore all new notes that are created every day um, will be saved within this folder. Now, the important part for really getting that kind of Rome-like behavior is open daily notes at on startup. 
so click on this. So whenever you open the vault, the first note it will open is the daily note for today. And you can begin just writing in that note um, as you would in Rome. And that's what I prefer to do at the moment. I might change, but uh, that's what I find most helpful. So at the moment, there's nothing. I'm going to close out Obsidian, reopen, and hopefully we should see the new note behavior. And here we go. It's opened on this note uh, as a recording, 31st of March, 2021. And uh, I've set up new daily notes. And if I look in my log here, here's the notes. And you don't have to do anything else. Um, tomorrow, open up the um, vault again. It will come up with uh, 1st of April uh, as a new note. And that's basically it. You now have a very Rome-like behavior, one of the big advantages of Rome. Uh, in Obsidian, it's not on by default, but this is how you set it up. And uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.